Hi, I'm Dr. Dean Mitchell. Today I'm going to talk about can we test for candida and what's a good way to test for candida. Frequently I hear patients have been doing what's called the spit test where they spit into a glass and see uh, with water whether the saliva rises and whether or not they have candida. I believe we have a much better way of checking for candida more scientifically that we do in the practice. So typically what we do, and I've shown this in a prior video, we do a skin test where we use a very tiny little needle, introduce the candida under the skin, similar to an allergy test. Then we wait approximately 10 minutes to start to read the reaction. So what I see in the office after we've introduced the candida and something called trichophyton under the skin is we wait 10 minutes to see if there's a reaction. If within 10 minutes there's a reaction of 7 or 9 millimeters, which we measure, then to me that indicates a candida overgrowth. Now, everyone has candida in their body, but if there's too much and it's out of balance, you will get in this immediate reaction. Now, a person that's really in excellent balance in that 10 minute period will have no reaction. The other kind of person that will not have any type of reaction is a patient with immune deficiency. Hi. Now let's take a look and see what happens at 48 hours or two days later. A patient with candida yeast overgrowth will still have that positive reaction. A patient with normal candida balance in their system will have a positive reaction, meaning their body has this delayed immune reaction, which is normal, and I explain that to patients. This is what's scary though, a patient that has immune deficiency will not have that immediate reaction and they will not have the reaction 48 hours later. This is what I used to see when I worked in the hospital uh, with AIDS patients. Their immune system was so uh, destroyed and their T-cells were not working so they had no uh, reactivity. So this is the spectrum that we use to help interpret whether we believe, along with a very good thorough history, if a patient has candida or yeast overgrowth. I hope this will help you understand better how to approach your candida.